No, I mean, uh, the year so far has gone pretty well. The last three World Cup stops have been pretty solid. The body's been feeling good. This is a race that I hold really dear to my heart. And yeah, it's hard to believe it's the sixth year already. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting it going for sure. And I've had good races in Oberhof in the past. Not so much in the prologue, but uh, I'll try my best tomorrow. Conditions are pretty, pretty horrible right now, but uh, the volunteers and stuff are working super, super hard. So I expect it to be completely different tomorrow. You just have to save energy at every chance you can. You're, there's a lot of venue changes, you're moving around a lot. It's a winter sport too, and as you can see, the weather isn't always sunny and beautiful, and you have to get, the, get out of those wet clothes fast and have a dry place to change. Make sure you're fueling yourself properly, getting the massage, doing all the little things. This thing right here, which isn't so much a little thing, absolutely makes a huge difference. It gives us a nice warm place to be before the race, after the race, and as we're traveling between venues. So I think those are the two, those are the two things: efficiency and recovery. And then, of course, you have to stay healthy, and a bit of a part of that's luck. But uh, I think if you do all the small things, it gives you the best chance. <clears throat> you know, it's a it's a fine balance for me. Um, I, I don't really ski well when I load myself up with a whole bunch of expectations. So I'm trying not to focus on what I did last year. This year's a new year, and I want to write a new chapter and just do the best I can. I, mean, I know journalists hate that, but uh, you know, really, it, it's every year's a new year, every day's a new day, and I just hope that the, the body reacts the way I, I want it to and the way we, we hope it can.